Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Yes, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Do y'all remember that Halloween special? Uh, I think it was last year. Wendy Williams had on this Empire outfit. And then she just really freaked out like she had saw Satan himself. Or the how the, the hells of women. The, the, what is, it, is it the dogs of hell or the mm -hmm. hell dogs or something like that? Honey, Wendy Williams was too scared. She looked like Satan had came off of his horse and was ready to come get her and everything. And the child even fell out. Okay? And then she's going to try to come back and make like everything was okay. Because half the time I be thinking some of these um, <coughs> Hollywood stars, they have been cloned. Seriously. Because they be doing some serious malfunctioning up there. But it's something with Wendy. I don't know if the elite or the illuminated people didn't want her no more. She had said something she wants Paul to say. But since that particular Halloween special that she did, that's when I saw the downfall of Wendy Williams. Because she hasn't been since. She has not been right since that particular taping of that show. But I don't know. Personally, I think her son... He need to be going to a school near her. If he's going out of school, going out of state to school or somewhere, he need to bring his ass right on back hill. Because just like Wendy was there for her son, he needs to be there for his mama. Because we know she don't have a companion in her life. And Kevin, he's her ex-husband or whomever he considers himself to be in her life. He's not there for her best interest. And I just feel very sad for... Wendy with the fact that she has no one she can count on to come to her rescue aid her while she's in this difficult transition okay so I guess you got to be nice to people and you can't go around uh especially if you're depending on them to help you out with certain little things I don't think you should be talking about Ian and everybody okay because it seemed like she isolated herself she didn't care she was just rising to the top and she just wanted to stay at the top and so she, you know, pretty much dogged everybody, even her inner circle, her personal friends. And, you know, she was on the Hollywood celebrities like White on Rice. But, child, yes, I start seeing the fall of Wendy Williams on that particular taping, in that particular show. I don't know what year it was. It could have been four years uh, in the past or it could have been two years. But that's when she really started having health issues. She was uh, not speaking correctly. It's almost like she had to search for the thoughts that she wanted to say or what thoughts were in her head did not translate out her mouth properly. And I don't know what TMZ was doing. They just put Mama Girl on blast. They went on. And I'm like, who is accepting interviews? Who is letting herself interviews from uh, blogger sites? Okay. Why is she doing interviews who is with her even though he she claims or stated out there she has a new manager i'm like i know she don't want to have that guardianship on her where somebody is making decisions on how she should spend her money and you know her personal money she just want to go and just shop 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 or she just want to take some trips or whatnot uh, she has to get permission for all that stuff. Now, her food, shelter, and clothing, that's that's a necessity. And that's going to always be paid uh, on time, every time it's time for it to be due. Okay? But just living carelessly, care, you know, carelessless, living careless out there, you know, buying whatever, whenever, however, 
no, she can't do that no more because the guardian over her account is saying she can't do no do that anymore. She has like a financial guardian, but I'm like, oh, why? Why is her son not feeding into helping his mom get better? And if she's not gonna get better, he needs to have total control of her health issues, and he needs to be there with her to make sure somebody's treating her right. And, you know, if he have to go to school, I understand that he need to go in school in state if he's not in state already. He needs to go in state where he comes home and tend to her after schooling. <sighs> but I don't know what type of uh, child she raised and I don't know how he feels about his mother. You know, I'm just speculating. Okay, giving me uh, giving you all my own opinions. But no, Wendy Williams is not bad. Wendy Williams should not be on no podcast. She should not definitely not be seen giving interviews of any kind of any sort because they could definitely use this in the court of law to tell the world or the judge or the masses, whoever is trying her case, to see if she's fit to be suitable to have her money back where she's uh, allocating wherever it should go, uh, giving back to her. I don't know, honey. But I know TMZ got her the, ooh, they got the worst of her. They went over there and did an interview with her, whether it's a podcast or an interview over the phone. You know, kind of like Skyping or Zoom type calls. And she's showing them her foot. Foot is bigger than three feet. Three feet in one person, you know what I'm saying? It's like she got both feet and then she got one in the middle that's making that whole total feet. It just looked like a giant foot. And if anybody don't know about lymphedemia, lymphedemia, please look it up. <sighs> because I don't understand why she's not in a wheelchair again. She's only saying she can only feel 5% of her foot. I'm like, girl, do you have gang green growing up in there? Why aren't you having circulations? Because if you don't have circulation in your body, they can form clots. Clots can form a heart attack. Okay, you can actually die from an untreated clot, blood clot. So, I don't know. I don't I don't know if this, this is her karma she's getting from talking real bad about celebrities and all up in their business constantly. And, you know, uh, some of them she know and she's telling, you know, personally know. And she's sitting up there telling their business on TV. Uh, in hopes that her ratings will go up. I'm like, ooh, girl, I hope it's not something like that that you're getting your just do back. Now, if you sign yourself away with the devil and all that to rise to fame, then you are getting your just do. But for you to just be on TV and having a conversation about what's going on in somebody's life, not like you're paparazzi, not like you're stalking them and watching their every move, but you're doing like what normal bloggers do, just looking at a situation, giving your opinion, and see what the audience you're entertaining feel about the subject matter, you know? I mean, shoot, news outlets do it. How they call uh, your local TV stations where you get your news, everyday news, where you sit it. Hell, they do it. They speculate. You know, they have people out there investigating the news of what they can report on. But I'm like, ooh, child. Uh-uh. Let me just let y'all listen to this little piece I got uh, from TMZ. The schedule is not this daily grind that you had to do uh, with your daytime show. Is that Was that part of the attraction? Yes. Will and I are in partnership. Like I told you, Will did all this for me. And so Will and I are partnership and what the, the beginning of what we're going to do podcast will be with a certain person and then we will continue podcast. And, you know, honestly, I don't know what podcast is. I, I, I can live for the rest of my life doing absolutely nothing. I can't wait to fall in love. What is when? Hello, hi guys, and welcome to his Royal And I'm TV. like, she, did y'all see how she was everywhere and nowhere at the same damn time? I mean, they're asking her about podcasting and how is that going to look? You know what I'm saying? Meaning, are you going to be having a, 
a Zoom call where you're being seen and you're asking questions to the different celebrities you want to talk to or, you know, or is it just going to be blacked out and they just hear your talk, you know, you're talking uh, on the show. And she, I don't know, how does she even get in now? She's um, wanting to date and stuff of that nature. I'm like, what? where are you at, girl? Where are you at with this scenario you got going on? Because it, it was, oh, child. It was just too much. And I'm like, Wendy. Wendy, 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 Wendy. What is going on, child? And then she started talking about her feet. And her feet are so swollen, y'all. It, it's, it's, well, I gave y'all a picture of what it looks like. And, like I said, she's talking about she wants to move on. Let me see if I can find another, uh, another taping. Okay. Will did all this for me. And so, Will and I are partnership. And what, the, the beginning of what we're going to do, podcast will be with a certain person and then we will continue podcast and you know honestly i don't know what podcast is i don't know, don't know who podcast I've been is for the rest of my life doing absolutely nothing i can't wait to fall in love what does wendy want to do in this show that's going to be different from your from your tv show well you guys i mean uh, maybe sneakers. You know, I've been on HSN and sneakers QVC, come from? Correct? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Maybe I'll do something with that or something else. You know I have lymphedema. You know what that is, correct? I know. Okay. You don't know lymphedema? All right. I'll show you. Okay. Are you ready? Sure. Okay. Lymphedema is this. Do you see this right here? Look. Okay. Please. No, look closely. Right. Hold up, please. Hold it up. I can't hold it higher. Do you see? Yeah, it's... we can see. Yeah. Okay, do you see this? Yes. All right, it's up and down. Okay. Okay, that is... I... Now you, I, I'm like, she's showing her feet, and she's asking them, can you see this? Can, no, come a little closer. Like, they're in the room physically with her. And she's trying to say, you see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? And I'm like, wait a minute. Hold up, baby girl. Hold up. You went from, they're talking about a podcast you're supposed to be doing. They want to know, is it being held live where you're having guests come in and, you know, we can see you all and y'all having conversations and stuff like that, you know, or, or are you on your podcast where you, you're interviewing your guests over the phone? You know, and then she went from sneakers, uh, and we weren't talking about branding no sneakers. Hey, we weren't even talking about advertising no sneakers. But she brought that in. Then she said she can't wait to be in love again. Nobody asked her about her love life, her companion. What is she doing when she's not, you know, thinking about creating different ideas for something new for her podcast? And she just kept, she just kept saying podcast podcast this is a what is I, I think she said what is a podcast or who's got i don't know what she was doing because she was frying my brain and you know it don't take much for my my brain to be fried but i could not follow her and they were looking at um uh, what's his name harvey and i forget his sidekick name the black guy but it's like why are y'all even asking her in-depth questions from the get-go because evidently we're on an elementary stage Almost like teaching a person how to talk again and have complete sentences being brought into the conversation. But it's like she's everywhere, everywhere, but nowhere, nowhere. Then she started talking about her feet. Like, look at it. Do you know what lymphedema is? I was like, no. Oh, Harvey, don't. Why are you saying no? I mean, it would have been best for y'all to Google it real quick and y'all give y'all opinion on what y'all feel from what you read about lymphedemia. I was like, I don't know who said when it was okay. She cool. You know, just because her gait is kind of, and when I say gait, I mean her balancing uh, when she's walking or standing up. We saw that. But then she looked like she was drunk. Like, she was just totally disheveled, drunk, high on something. And 
you know, she's asking questions about, you know, her show or the paparazzi was asking her something about when we're going to see something new from her show or whatever. And she was like uh, saying, no, that has been retired. That has been done with and, and we're through. It's podcast time or something to that degree. I like, Lord, she confusing the hell out of me. She is confusing the hell out of me. But uh, I can only feel let's finish up. Maybe five percent of my feet. Wow. Do you understand? Right. Which means normally I would be in a wheelchair. I'm not in a wheelchair. You need I one. Stand Wendy. up. You need How a wheelchair. You? you really Thank need that. Thank you so wheelchair. much for watching. Well, let's continue praying for Wendy's well-being. But yeah, and we, honey, baby. I mean, you can love her, you can hate her, you can be totally indifferent with her and her behavior. But there's nothing, this interview that TMZ uh, had of her doing a Zoom call where we could see her physically and she could show us and talk to us however she wanted to. But this is not a well woman. This is not a well put together woman that seems like she's on the means to coming back being her old natural self that we're used to seeing i don't know what's going on I don't, but it's, it's you see how shocked i am i can't even get my words together but wendy don't need to be on nobody's tv show she don't need to need to be on nobody's podcast show because it's like she can't follow one simple thought to the next thought and make it make sense you see what i'm saying oh child mm -mm. i'm not here for it <laughs> i'm not here for it lord so if you felt like praying for somebody that really is in need of prayer, which I could say everybody is in need of prayer. Say a prayer for Wendy Williams when you go to bed every night or when you wake up in the morning. Because the woman just not put together. She don't have anybody to look out for her from what I'm seeing. Okay, just by watching people's videos or her doing a video where she's doing a, a a talk interview about her health, what she feels about the show, being canceled, her not getting her pink chair, da 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 da, -da you know. I, I'm like, damn it, that look kinda look like a pink chair what she's sitting in. Maybe they did deliver it to her and not throw, throw not throw it out. I don't know. I don't know. Cause I don't even know if Wendy would have wanted this shit, how things ended with her being on her own show and it being taken over by guest hosts and then finally you know, they're going to give Sherry Shepard her show on the same time slot, which was her show. But, honey, like I said, you do dirt in the dog, it's going to come back to light. And we might not look or like how it's being played to us in our faces and what we have to deal with from said things we may have done in the past that offended folks, uh, things of that nature. But that's all I got for this video, guys. But, hey, I'm here to tell you, no, no, no. We don't need to see Wendy. We need to go and retire. Like she said, she has enough money, but she don't have to ever do anything. I'm like, look, honey, if the Lord wake you up each and every day, then you you right. You just need to go up in somebody's doctor's office. You need to be talking to somebody for therapy. And you don't need to be worried about making more money. Because at the time and the age that you are now, the time you spent grinding, um, was making the Wendy Williams show and everybody know you, this, that, and the third. I mean, somebody probably want to just write a book on you. The ending of the era of Wendy Williams. You know what I'm saying? So, you see, I did that. See, I'll tell you when I, I said that. She need to maybe do a documentary or a real documentary, not that other shit she did. Um, was it WeTV? Was it like shit? I don't know which one it was, but it was horrible. It was horrible. But, no, sit and really write things or how she felt after the show was canceled you know what i'm saying what was her take on it and she just put it in a book form or whatever i would buy it just to read it but how she is how she acting now i don't even know if that's possible because to me it's like i'm looking at her she's she suffers with gray's disease i know then she has the limp lymphedema going on and i'm like okay what else do we have going on what else do we have going on wendy with you that you haven't exposed and let out to the public. But I mean, no, she just needs to be sitting down somewhere where she likes. And I think she likes being around the water. So she might need to go to Florida and, and spend a, a year or so and get herself back together. You know, get her a winning team around her that best fit her just getting well. Not 
saying what she wants to do or what she wants to get back into the business of entertainment no because to me that's that's dried up and gone because if you're going to sit and have conversations where you don't have complete sentences uh you get into a conversation we're talking about dogs and cats and you come up here talking about you finna build a house <laughs> I'm like, what we were just on um, talking about dogs and cats and the food and all like that where are you coming out with i'm gonna build a house you know what i'm saying that's just not that's not correct thinking or say we're talking about television and getting sponsors and this, that, and that, this, that, and the third. And you're talking about taking a trip somewhere. Like, the two just don't match. What the hell is going on in your mind? But I'm telling you, that's when I started seeing Wendy started to, like, uh, be bad in her health is when that situation happened. So, y'all get in the comments. Tell me what y'all thought about this uh, situation. This comments and goings on with... Uh, when is sitting up there talking about she feels great she feels fine she don't need nobody help she's starting a podcast and then she's gonna uh do sneakers and, <laughs> and all this other shit i'm like girl you are gave me a headache i would just wanted to crawl up uh beside you and fall asleep because you you don't you don't whoop my ass you don't whoop my brain cells you don't need everything and i'm like we we both need to be in therapy you know me for sitting up there having to have to watch you and 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 listen to you talk uh frivolously and you know nothing is going on right with you girl so i would have to be just sitting up there with her probably taking the same medication she's taking just to keep up with her you know being one of her caregivers but like i said when they don't have it doesn't seem like maybe she hadn't exposed it to us because she's just like maybe giving somebody that's you know a layman person that's not in the business they work an everyday job or they're retired but she don't want to put them out in the public eye just for their privacy yeah she needs to find somebody like that uh that can take care of her and you know of course she's paid them to be her caregiver but you know these other people that's just trying to be around her to get that money and then treat her like shit you know because how how she even know what she's being treated like because it don't seem like she has all her memory or she's not all together there where like i said she can make one complete sentence make make sense and you know not jumping all around the, the world or jumping all the way around a conversation and not even coming close to the conversation of what we're speaking about it's like she's inducting or putting in what she wants to talk about even though you know when you're having a conversation with people uh you know you're gonna follow through with what you're talking about then if everything starts to get stale and you don't want to really talk about it no more then another subject topic can be brought up in the conversation but now nah, wendy was throwing that shit in like white on rice like okay we talking about who going to school tomorrow okay who going to school tomorrow uh what time should we get up and she said well i think we should get up and um uh, uh go play with rocks like we, we this they, we got to go to school no we're gonna play with rocks you know so it was just ooh, child I don't even want to see another blogger saying she's doing well because that's a bald faced lie. And y'all should call them out for lying because ain't nothing right about Wendy Williams right about now. Nothing. But that's all I got, y'all. Y'all get down in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about Wendy and her interview with TMZ and them trying to see how far her attention span can go and see if she's going to be able to make complete sentences and make sense when she's talking about whatever topic subject they're talking about so let's see you know test the waters to see actually it's on memory working and of course no it's not functioning on all cylinders it has been put to rest meaning it's don't went to sleep and, and when they need to go back to sleep and get uh some therapy going on some psych treatment going on so she can hopefully one day be her best self again whichever whatever that is okay but i'll see y'all next video guys bye bye